Hi friends, Miss Hayden here. Hope you're having a good week so far. I thought I'd start by talking to you guys a little bit about texture this week. So I know most of you probably know what texture is. So actual texture is the way something feels. So like this rock here, it's rough when you touch it. Um, or even smooth surfaces when you touch it super smooth, like this giant avocado here. Um, so the difference between actual texture and visual texture is that with visual texture, um, artists can create the illusion that something might feel a certain way. So like these little spots on my face, maybe they might, they're smooth, but they might appear like they could be bumpy. So that's the difference. So I want you guys to th think about those things as we're doing our art project today. So we're gonna start by finding one of our favorite shoes. I really like my tennis shoe here. And the actual texture of it is pretty smooth around the base here and even a little bit rough where you see the mesh on the top. So we're going to place that shoe in front of us and I'm going to start by drawing the back of the shoe and I'm drawing it from the side. So you guys can uh, draw it from whatever angle feels most comfortable for you. Remember, I always tell you guys to give it your all. Don't, don't focus on making it look exactly as it appears in front of you. So we're just getting practice here. So I like to start with the back of my shoe and it sometimes helps me to guide my finger across the surface of what I'm drawing, kind of to help me with the overall shape and form of it. So I'm going to start here. I know that there's a lip here that it dips in and comes up, comes across. So I'm drawing the overall shape of the shoe first. So it comes down, dips in on the bottom, and these pieces connect. So that's the overall form of the shoe, okay? So then I wanna draw the base of the shoe that comes underneath, bends up. And then you can see the texture, the rough texture, bumps on the bottom of the shoe even, showing on the bottom. So I'm gonna draw those in. And then I've got my shoelaces on the top. And draw my shoelace loop coming up on the top, coming down in the front. Then the laces coming down on the top here. And then you can kind of see the mesh here. kind of circular around. And then my shoe has this black strap with circles on it, so I'm gonna draw those. Back here. Okay, and I wanna maybe even add the details of the threads coming through on my shoe, if you guys can see those. I can draw some even more details that I see in front of me. Maybe even drawing the texture of the mesh, the visual texture 
maybe you get little cross hatches. Remember, cross hatching is where two lines cross one another. So I could start with horizontal lines across and then vertical that kind of curve around. So I have my overall line drawing now of the shoe. So to create even more texture on this actual shoe, we can go ahead and take our first color. Maybe I want to start with purple and yellow. I love these two colors and what reminds me of these two colors is that I remember that they're complementary. So remember complementary colors are opposite to one another on the color wheel. So they often look really nice paired up to each other because for one, one of them's a warm color and one of them's a cool color. So I'm gonna take my shoe here and I'm gonna flip it over on the bottom. Because remember, we have texture, actual texture on the bottom here. So to make it into a visual texture, you can put your shoe on the surface, put your paper on top where you have those textures, take the body of the crown horizontally, and you're gonna rub over the top of the shoe wherever you want that texture. Purple's my favorite color, so another reason why I chose that one to start. So I am then gonna change shoes. I actually brought uh, in another pair of shoes that I like the texture of as well. This one has like a circular pattern on it. So I'm gonna put that underneath here. The yellow is probably gonna be a little harder to see. Try it out. Maybe I need to try a different color. Okay, so then maybe come in and add some blue. There you go. You can see that a little bit better there. Even if you want to add, you know, a third texture. I've got another one here, my Converse. It's got like a diamond pattern on it. Maybe pick even another color. So I've got orange here. Voila. There's my shoe. So if I wanted to, I could even add a cast shadow. A cast shadow is a shadow that you see around the shoe. So you guys might not be able to see it as well as I can, but I have a light source coming around. So I have this from above. So I have this cast shadow that's being created from the light hitting it from above. So there's this shadow that's created. So maybe I could even take the texture of the shoe and hold it underneath the bottom of the shoe. Take your crown on the side and go around underneath part. All right. You can even add a little texture in the background if you want to. You can always add even more color to your shoe by simply taking your crown and filling in the space. All right, you guys. So I hope you all have fun with this. Use what you can. Always make sure if you are touching 
uh, your shoes a lot like I just was, I'm going to go straight to the sink and wash my hands because remember, that's so important right now. Keep our germs away. So have a good Wednesday and enjoy the rest of your week. I will see you guys next time.